Good morning. It is about 6.20 in Japan right now, and I'm coming out here uh, to update you Summer Garden, end of July Summer Garden 2024. It's getting hotter and hotter every day. Daytime today is about 35 degrees Celsius, and it will be like uh, even hotter in few more days. Going to August is the hottest month of the year in Japan, so I cannot imagine how my garden would be. I thought that I will have a second round fig for this year, but because of the heat, all the figs dried up and fell down like this. Could you hear that noisy sound? In summer in Japan, it's very noisy, especially in the morning. You can get up because of this sound. I really hate it. Like that too. It dries up over there. I'm really sick of cucumber. I said many times on my short video, and then on my post, I'm very sick of cucumber. I have never eaten cucumber, this much of cucumber, ever in my whole life. It's too much. It's over my capacity to eat it, to eat them. I decided to let them grow and save seeds for next year. This would be my first time collecting cucumber seeds. I have never done before, so I'm really looking forward for it. This one has a very funny shapes. And this one too. Japanese cucumbers are very thin and long and small, but they grow this big because I want to save seeds. Oh my God, too many, too many mosquitoes. I have been attacked by too many mosquitoes out here just in five minutes. The one over here, this one tiny little tomato, another one up there too. I harvested one already and more to come. Over here too, can you see this tiny little pumpkin? More pumpkin over here. So cute. I told you this is more cucumber. Wow, this one looks like a snake. This one maybe I will harvest and eat because I have too much, too many, too many to save seeds. I don't need that much. Look at this tiny one. Gorgeous. Even more cucumbers here. Especially this one, I have been letting it to grow big and grow owned to save seeds for quite some time. And you can see the color is pretty yellow, but I will leave it a little bit more so that the seeds will be fully established. So one, two, three, four even here too. My pumpkin vines are all over the places now. 
I do really like to stir fry pumpkin leaves. I mean, the top tip of these leaves. Yeah. So in my country, we cut this top tip and then also some like a small pumpkin. Then you can stir fry with oyster sauce or even boil them to eat. Very nice. You can see all the soils are dry, very dry. So they need to, they need to drink water. All these red perilla leaves. My fig trees, they are so tall. But I'm so sad that I don't have the second round fig. Look at that. I have got two pumpkins hanging on the fig trees. Can you see those pumpkins? One and another one, the smaller one. So cool. Sweet potatoes. Indeed, they need to drink water. If you see my shots video, you will see this ginger and how they produce the ginger underground, like the flower type of ginger. This is the one. Yeah, this is a ginger, Japanese ginger. But the state that you eat is the state that before this flower pop up. So before this flower pop up and bloom is the time that you must eat them. And this is already too late to eat. I do have even more over here. Oops, can you see? This is Japanese ginger. This is what I like about this summer garden. All the cucumber and pumpkin vine, they all going up on top of all the trees and up on the trellis. I pretty like it because it can shade my garden and my balcony from the heat in the summer and everything cools down. I will show you more pumpkin, more pumpkin over here. I don't know about this one. Hopefully it will be successfully pollinated by the insects so that I can have more pumpkin. I do have one over here. So cool. Okay, probably I also should eat this cucumber because I have too many seeds. This is a little tiny tomato. Loved it. And I have these beautiful tomatoes to snack on. The other days I could harvest the bigger type of tomato, but today I just get the smaller one. This is how the garden looks on the third floor balcony. It does help me to shed some light, the sunshine during the summer hot and cool down everything. While at the same time, I can eat cucumber, tomato, pumpkin, and a lot more vegetables in the garden despite the heat. I can still grow something by having these vegetables to shade the sun. Have a look of the, have a look at my balcony garden from the fourth floor They look gorgeous, right?
Can you see that? That is my tomato plants. By having this cucumber and pumpkins, they can actually shade the, and protect my other plants. So I don't need to cover them with any shade cloth during the summer heat.